Hello everyone, this is Potato Bubba here. I hope you are keeping very well. The big question needs to be asked with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out, which Bubba is more terrifying? Do, is it the Dead by Daylight Bubba or is it the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Bubba? Well, that's what I want to talk about with you today. So at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on which killer I think is more terrifying for the survivors to deal with. And let me know in the comments if you agree with this. I've got two games to show you, one of me playing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game and one of me playing the Dead by Daylight game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care. Peace out. We're a stronger basement camping. Uh, we're not going for that, but I would honestly say this one. <laughs> Tell me, why did you uh, Spoon, thank you for the follow game. We appreciate hey. it. Right, come on then. I'm a bit rusty with this bubber, but, um, you know, got to show him some love, you know? Got to show him some love. Hey, oh. There's already run advantage this Bubba has to the other one, and that's scratch marks. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Chop or... I thought I said pork or chop. <laughs> nah. He would have... He had balance landing. Self on hook. It won't be good against Baba, to be honest. Wait, when was this guy shirtless? Hello, father. <laughs> it's still on the maintenance game right here. Okay, nice. That was perfect too, because we didn't have to use an additional charge. Right, we got him, eventually. I mean, I couldn't really mind game those pallets too much. Oh, I didn't see that briefcase! No! It'll be on late today, dude. I mean, that was very silly. The advantage already this Bubba has is he can M1 immediately. Whereas the other one has to rev up his chainsaw. Not much I can really do here. Nice. Put it down too. I hear Nancy, like, really loud. Oh, she's underneath me. Stupid. You can't tell what I want, I want, I want. Oh, that was that a dead hog? She dead hearted! I thought dead hogging was like a crime against humanity. We got a dead hot gamer! <laughs> no, she thought I was gonna chainsaw. Very slow.
bit rusty with Bubba. This is my first game in. Someone on it. No, oh, my god. <laughs> Unlucky Mia, you got stuck. Ah. Oh crap. No! Ah! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Bro, I'm not blinded for like five light years. Whoops, I screwed that. Because that would have been another really good thing. Damn it. Um, there's nothing here. I broke the pallet, right? Thank you so much, Felix. <laughs> I needed a bit of a break there. <laughs> I wasn't even going after him. Ah! Get away from me, creature. No, thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate it, Kitty. Thank you so much. Right, come on, focus, focus. Oops. This is why I'm not that great with this man's. Nancy's dead on her. Let's kill her. <laughs> nice. Nia coming in for the save there was perfect. <laughs> Spidey sense was tingling. Hey, ooh, hey. Ah, there you go, very nice. Bubba man, Bubba that man. Camp's basement like Bubba man. Can he swing from his chainsaw? No, he can't because he's not Spider Man. Hey, look out, here comes the Bubba man. Near Chuan. It's not like Sanji from One Piece. Right, come on. Go, go, go! Alright, come on. This should be an M1! Yeah. Very slight. Right, that should be max stacks on the way out. Very nice. They healed each other instead. The One Piece! Stop talking about One Piece, because you'll maybe start singing. <laughs> you can watch uh, One Piece, which is like a quicker version of One Piece, but like, man, come on. If you don't watch the 1000 eps, you can't call yourself a One Piece fan. Some of the episodes just stretch out, like, there'll be like a, a good 30 minute segment of them just staring at each other. Just average One Piece agenda.
thing is, when, I, when I started watching it, I know it's a bit random. One Piece came out, I was, um... It's only like 300 episodes in, so... Nice. Stop touching him, my guy. Just compared to Nalte, yeah. <laughs> I smell a survivor. See, this is the difference between uh, Texas Chainsaw. There's scratch marks. I kind of like the fact there's no scratch marks in Texas. It makes tracking a little bit harder, sure, but, you know. Oof. Watch this. Wait, hold on. You think they would have gone outside? I'm gonna guess they're not gonna run up the stairs and they've gone outside. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, my guess is too good. That was Sprinty Burst. Ugh! Oh, the mind game, oh, Reno. That was kind of an obvious window bait there. <laughs> Sweet talker, thank you for the follow, gamer. You slag muffin. Play gamers, and I think we need to at least get one kill here where we take him to the basement, right? So, boom. this Bubba has a lot of advantages over his Texas Chainsaw Massacre part. He can insta break pallets and things like that. In the Texas Chainsaw, it takes him a bit long. Um, the downside is though, the Texas Chainsaw one is a lot faster in mobility because he can keep his Chainsaw 99 and run really fast. So he has mobility over this problem. Uh, really fun game, well played. GG, well played. Good game, cuties, good game. What were we up against? We actually did have a dead hard. That's actually really nice to see, believe it or not. Seeing people trying to pull that off. So honest respect. Uh, Sprint Burst, very common. Literally four different exhaustion perks. That's really nice to see. Good thing we had no aura reading there, because that did not come in handy for him. Because um, Rancor doesn't count as an aura read, actually, funny enough. But yeah, GG. Well played, gamers. Well played. Just be a gem rusher. 
I haven't played Ada once in my first game. How many times do I watch this poor girl get violated? Can Bubba see blood too? Yeah, where's? Okay, I'm actually going to try and focus this around. Toolbox in here, which they're going to need. These lot are quiet, man. At least one person get caught. No, they're all hiding. Concerned noises. Bubba's a concerned little man, don't judge. Hear that? Wait, there's blood here. I see, that's how he uses ability, right? Why am I being attacked? I couldn't find anyone in basement, bro. Yo, she is right here. What? Alright, why didn't I go forward in like chase mode? How did he lose her? Bro! No head pat. Yes, I got one.
Your grandpa needs feeding. <laughs> Sounds of affection. Yo, one in the exterior. She's running out. Yo, she's right here by me. <laughs> yes. Nice! I just got two kills! Yo, Cook, where they at? I'm feeding Grandpa. We can keep leveling up Grandpa. We need Cook to find them. Oh, I can level up Grandpa again. That works. Okay, let's level up Grandpa. I've got, Grandpa's like an aura reading bot. The more you level it out, the faster his aura read happens. But the survivors can avoid it by standing still. Oh, he's almost max level, man. On well, next level. Can we get Grandpa leveled? If you got a little bit of blood, he's so close to being leveled. Yeah, no worry. This one's sneaky. Nice one. One more level and they ain't hiding. Right, where the hell could they be? It'd be important to remember where the blood spawns because it regens, I'm pretty sure. How do victims win the game? So basically, the victims win the game by getting like a toolbox to open the doors and basically just escaping out the gate. We have the ability to turn on the- Oh! They're in the courtyard! Uh, cattle shoot! Cattle shoot! Come to me! I got him, GG's. 
<laughs> My first 3k, let's go! Nice, very, very nice. Happy Bubba. Okay, everyone, as you can see at the end, we have had some really fun gameplay. Now, what is the massive difference between these two Bubbas? There is a lot, but basically they work in the same way. They're very strong at downing survivors very quickly. The difference though between the games is that once a killer gets you in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you're done for if you don't escape. And the survivors are a lot more powerful as in they can run a lot faster. There's a lot more tiles for them to get through and you need the other family members to help you catch survivors in certain positions because Bubba can't gain access to certain loops. He can only break one type of loop which is really interesting and makes him technically weaker than a Dead by Daylight bubber in terms of looping because a Dead by Daylight bubber can easily break pallets and he could M1 as well. So that means his looping is a lot quicker technically than dealing with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. Now another thing as well with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre bubber is he has the ability to turn his chainsaw on and off. The downside to having it off at all times is if you do bump into a survivor, you have to quickly rev it to catch up. So in that sense, he's a little bit slow. But if he keeps it off, he has the ability to hide his stealth or terror radius in a sense because the survivors won't be able to hear him and then he can catch them off by surprise. But he has to then rev his chainsaw anyway to then start a chase. So why am I bringing this up? Let's talk about the speed now. So which bubber is actually faster? I have to give this though to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one because he can rev his chainsaw for a long period of time and hold it and run really, really fast to catch up with the survivors. The downside though to this is survivors can quickly navigate tight corners and avoid it very easily. If they're out in the open, he'll catch them, but in small areas, he really struggles. Whereas the Dead by Daylight Bubba actually does really well in small areas and can easily cut around corners and then hit survivors and insta down them. So in terms of speed, it's hard to give. I'd say they're both sort of equal in their own right. This Bubba is good at closing the gap really close, but is forced to eat pallets. And then the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one can close the gap from a long distance, can't he, to then get close. So overall, in terms of speed, I'm gonna have to give it to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one because he can close the gap a lot easier than this Bubba can. What is the point of me making this video? Honestly, it's just for the funsies. I just wanted to compare the two Bubbers. Overall, they're both scary in their own right. When it comes to actually looping and dealing with a Bubba though, I would probably say it's actually a lot easier in Dead by Daylight. As of now, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Bubba is probably a lot more scarier to get away from. And if he does manage to corner you, it's game over. There's no second chances. You're literally done for. Overall, I'm going to say the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Bubba is superior, but I still love this Bubba in his own right. And again, it's really hard to compare the two considering both games have completely different mechanics. But again, it's just for the funsies. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this weird discussion as well. I have made a YouTube poll before this to hear your thoughts as well. Unfortunately, I'm on holiday, so I can't read those results. But I'm looking forward to reading your comments below and going through the poll results when I'm on holiday. I've rambled on for too long about absolute nonsense. Hope you enjoyed the two gameplay videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Watashi no na wa Kira Yoshikage, nende 33. Jitaku wa Moriocho, hokutobu no besso chitai ni ari, kekkon wa shite inai.